Садись в машину! What did I do? Идиот, у меня нет времени! Залезай! Черт возьми! Догоните его! Oh dear. Poor old Gregorov, eh? Uh, looks like his, uh, well, person in command. Mara. I had to think for, uh, I had to think of her name there for a second. Mara started opening up on her, but, uh, on him. But he's kind of a knob, so it's fine. Um, probably should have shot her in the guts instead of pushing her over. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, guys, welcome back to Siphon Filter 2. We're still playing as Leon. We have made it to the streets. We've got through the club. Gregorov has fled through the streets of Moscow, running from the militia, his own bodyguards, and you. You must catch him before he escapes. You'll need to get close and use your taser to incapacitate him. He's no good to you dead. Note, Gabe and Teresa can, uh, have also come under fire and can't lend assistance, so you won't have any backup on this operation. Yeah, this, oof, this mission is spicy. Gets incredibly, incredibly sweaty, but hopefully we'll be able to sort it out. So first thing we've got to deal with is this guy, and we've already lost. <laughs> yeah, this guy is literally going to start huffing grenades at us, and he's really, really difficult to actually get. I'm going to be honest. Um, not a fan. Like, you don't technically, I suppose, have to take this guy out, but otherwise, he is literally, yeah, he's just going to throw grenades at you. Um, I, <sighs> you can run past him. Right? You absolutely can run past him. The only trouble is... Let's wait for him to throw a grenade. We can't get too... Is he going to throw one down here? Yep, there we go. We can't get too... Right, there we go. Oh, you know what? Maybe we won't take him out. I don't know. I'm just... I haven't found like a seamless way of dealing with him. I'm going to be honest. Right, let's see. Okay. Okay, that kind of worked. He's got a really nasty... Yeah, he's dead. He's got a really nasty angle on you. Um, and as soon as we come out here, we're going to start getting attacked straight away. These guys are going to strip our armor off pretty badly, to be honest. But that's okay. We uh, will live to deal with it. Now, one thing that's important to know about these guys, their accuracy is pretty good. Um, they seem to miss you exactly twice, and the third shot, they will start doing damage to you, which is kind of interesting. Now, with Gregorov, his, like, um, accuracy is bizarre. He will always try and go for headshots. Now, it looks like we're getting nothing back from Gabe. Okay. Well, yeah. So, uh, he will constantly be aiming for our head. Now, the trouble is... Um, it seems to be 100% luck whether he hits you or not. Which is unfortunate. Now, we've got to take these guys out. And I would not allow to kill these militiamen. Um, you know. Because, apparently, they're kind of good guys. We'll take the game's word for it. Now, you don't need to stun that guy, but we just need it for the ammo. And we need to grab this tear gas launcher. Very, very, very important. So, yeah, uh, we're going to have a lot of sections here. Oh, no. Two enemies. Luckily, there are suicidal cops around here. Not sure why they decided to just chase him down, but, hey, we'll, we'll take advantage of it. Take advantage of the chaos. Um, yeah, so... When we actually get back up to Gregorov, it's going to be 100% random. Really, if he actually hits us or not, it's kind of annoying. Might end in some nasty deaths. Now, these two guys are weird as well. Like, <laughs> this car underneath is going to explode. But it only explodes if you kill both of them. Doesn't matter which order you, you um, actually kill them in. But you have to kill both of them to make this car explode. Don't exactly know the science behind it. 
but that's the way it is. All right, well, we'll grab the night vision rifle because why the devil not? Now, if we just quickly get the old tear gas launcher out, it's going to save us a bit of time because as we've already mentioned, we're not allowed to kill these guys, but they have no issues at all with killing us. So there we go. We've still got one tear gas round left. Uh, I don't think we need it for anything else on this mission. So let's grab up their weapons and web if I could talk today, you'd stop drinking this coffee rum, which I might add, it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh, it's so, it's really, it's sweeter than you'd think, but it's nice. Anyway, oh, Gregorov, yep. So, again, you've just got to roll through those uh, attacks. Um, and, you know, it, it really is, like, completely random as to whether you survive. Okay, so we can see here that there's a car waiting for us. Gee, I hope that doesn't decide to chase us down. Oh, wait. I don't know why there's quite so many suicidal bastards out here. Not quite sure. But if we go down this alleyway to where it came from, I thought this was kind of interesting. This is... There's like a hidden wall here. Like an invisible wall. I don't know why. It seemed... That actually does seem quite strange for Siphon Filter. Because, um, you know, usually if you can see it, you can get there. Unless it's like blocked in some way but yeah uh, odd that is and the thing is it's not even that far to like the back wall um so i would have thought there was going to be some goodies back there but alas there is nothing luckily though this burning car has created the perfect ramp for us to go and explore the rooftops now make no mistake gregorov is uh, just around the corner now this is kind of interesting as well like because I've been playing this game back so many times I'm starting to find a lot of well weirdness lots of video gamey stuff with it <laughs> like really obvious see this this jump that we're going to do here doesn't look too bad seems fairly normal that's right this jump on the other hand uh, you're a little bit bigger. Um, when I got here, when I was originally practicing this game, I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't know how the hell, like, where we go. Oh, maybe we jump down. Jump down, you die. There's also two guys down there, and they are militia police. Uh, yeah, so, so you can't kill them. But what we can do is we have saved that round, which is really nice. But we're going to use this for something pretty important in a minute so this bit sucks so you've got to jump across yep they're gonna shoot and straight away there's this guy opening up on us you don't have to kill him but by god does it make sense to do so right let's grab hold of our gas launcher there we go we're gonna use it it's going to make hopefully make this next bit a little bit easier you see this pipe here this pipe has a very specific purpose and that is uh, come on you geez that was close and that is that now we're going to gas those two because they will really mess our day up and uh that guy there has a freaking grenade launcher. So again, you don't really need to come back and get this, but why not? You get armor and you get grenade launcher ammo, but I think you only get one shot with a grenade launcher. Yeah, just the one. So it's kind of pointless in a way, but you know what? It's better to have it and not... Ooh, fucking hell. You are a penis, Gregorov. You really are a penis. Honestly. Yep, this is going to be bad. Well, that's those guys dead. Now, there's grenade launchers all along here. Jesus. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's grenade launchers, like, covering these rooftops here. You don't actually need to do anything with them. You can just run past. But this first one is kind of annoying, to be honest. We will get rid of him. 
No, you can't actually save those cops. I've done it a couple of times. There's no point in doing so. It doesn't do anything. But, you know, you can do it. All right, so we've got the grenade guys above us. I believe there's two of them, possibly three. But as long as we keep moving, we should be okay. Oh, that thump of the grenade launcher is terrifying. Now, yeah, there you go. That's Gregorov for us. Every now and again, he just seems to have the ability to hit you. And there's really nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is roll. Hey, we saved one of them. Yeah, the only thing you can do is just keep rolling and hope that the RNG gods are on your side. I've heard people say that when you're rolling, you're invincible, and that is just simply not true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go well, isn't it? This, this is what I'm saying with this mission. This mission... Ooh, this mission. It really blows. Kind of a cool idea. But... Hey, we saved both of them that time. Yeah, this mission really blows just because there's so much, like, random bullshit involved. Now, technically, they can't actually aim low enough down here to hit us. But because of the weird, questionable hitboxes of grenades... Sometimes they just do, and Gregorov as well. We need to chase Gregorov down, but he's going to be constantly aiming for our head. And, you know, every now and again, he's just going to get that headshot. Now, we have to literally keep chasing him, which makes this even harder, because he's just going to keep blasting away. Now, he will also, to rub salt into the wound, he will also destroy those cars that you're hiding on which ain't great to be honest with you Whew. but okay we made it we made it everything's good everything's gravy baby and we are going to wait for the cars to go across the road wait for the next one all right never been crushed by one of those cars but i can imagine it's absolutely a thing ah, right end of the level let's go Maybe because everyone's trying to kill him. Hmm. Why did they let us live? Very strange. Anyway, guys, that's the end of that video. We're going to keep these uh, nice and short because, hey, my internet is, <laughs> is enjoying this. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.